Hey everyone, it's Anaya with K-Pop Oracles. I'm bringing you another K-Pop to reading. Today's reading is going to be about the two business proposal stars. That is, I hope I'm saying their name correctly, An Hyo Soap and Kim Se Jung. We're just going to be doing a little friendship reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what is the connection like? What is the overall vibe, energy? What is Kim Se Jung and An Hyo Soap's connection like? We got the three of coins, three of pentacles. I feel like they work, they, they enjoy working together. They, they uh, work really well together. I feel like there's just no, no issues. Like, they're, like the partnership that they have is very positive and they are very hardworking. What else? Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles, yeah, this is a very... Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles has to do with business, contracts, so... Um, I feel like they, there's a desire to want to work together again, and, um, or they're, they're trying to find some projects where they, they both can uh, be a part of. So it could be that they're in the process of, of negotiating contracts with some companies or some I feel like there's some offers coming their way and yeah I feel like both of them together are just able to bring in a lot of money money in yeah six of coins six of pentacles yeah I think they really look out for one another I feel like they uh, there's, there's a very loving, caring connection here. I feel like they, there's a lot of things they share with each other, like secrets, resources, money. Perhaps they like cook for one another and making sure the other is well fed and well, well nurtured and well taken care of. We got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so this is a sign that it's like they're, they're like a, like a happy family, you know, like they're really happy. That this connection is very overall positive. It's it's one that brings both parties joy. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What does An Hyo Sop think of Kim Sejong? Oops, oops. What does An Hyo Sop think of Kim Sejong? We get the Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. He thinks that... Kim Sejong is someone who is very patient, patient-hearted, uh, really, really, really spends a lot of time getting to know you, asking questions, like, and um, it's so giving. Like, Kim Sejong has a lot to, to show, to offer, and is, is valuable. It's someone who means a lot and someone who is who has really good intentions and also someone who has like really is really stable someone who means well like it it takes a while i guess it takes yeah it takes a while for um also for kim sejong to open up the world to others i feel does on heel soap think of kim sejong five of spears five of wands so on he also thinks that Kim Se Jong is someone who's very competitive, very Aries like energy, like someone who is not afraid to kind of compete with others or or um, show them their skills, you know, like or or doesn't like to lose. I feel like um, likes to be a winner, <laughs> a little friendly competition. What does An Hyo Sop think of Kim Se Jung? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so An Hyo Sop thinks that Kim Se Jung is someone who is drama free, doesn't like, doesn't have time for, for small petty things, okay? And um, 
so it has more it's more focused on things that matter in life and we'll walk away from anything that doesn't work okay we I know we got six of spears and six of wands at the bottom of the deck so uh, uh, on heel soap is thinking okay Kim St. Jong is someone who's very charismatic stands out is a winner and just someone who is able to kind of captivate a lot of people, able to win a lot of people's hearts over. Okay, what else? What is on heel so think of Kim Se Jung? Sweet pea. Hope you can see it. Sweet pea. Okay, so okay, on here is thinking. Okay, Kim Se Jung is someone who um, I, I I guess knows what she wants, and um, hmm. Yeah, knows what she wants and just really goes after it. Like, follows her heart a lot. Follows her um, intuition. What does An Hyo So think of Kim Zhe-jung? Tulip. We have the tulip flower. Yeah, I feel like... An Hyo Sophie is really grateful for this connection with Kim Se Jong, like thinking, okay, yeah, Kim Se Jong is someone who's a great homie, great friend, like the best friend you can ever have, you can, can ask, ever ask for. What else? Gemini. We have Gemini. Okay. There's something Gemini-like about Kim se Jong, like very curious, very communica communicative, um, just someone who's able to kind of adapt to any situation, like almost like a chameleon or so like a, a social butterfly, just someone who perhaps, maybe he's thinking, okay, like she likes to experiment or change up her look all the time or not afraid to try new things, okay? Or loves variety, very social, someone who you would get along with and be, who would be everyone's friends, basically. He also finds her to be very intelligent. Sextile, opportunity, yeah. Um, okay, oh, he's okay. He's thinking. Okay, Kim Se Jung is is someone who's lucky in life. Has a lot of opportunities. A lot of great things coming her way. Um, seems like a lot. There's she gets a lot of offers for things. Maybe very likable. Okay, so what does Kim Se Jung think of On Hyo now? What does Kim Se Jong think of An Hyo Soap? Oh. Justice. Okay, so she's thinking he's very fair, he's he's loyal, he's someone who is treats other with kindness and respect. It could also mean she finds him to be someone who is a well-respected person, someone who just people like, you know, or Wheel of Fortune. She's thinking that this is a karmic connection or just feeling like they've known each other in a past life. So, yeah, it's like feeling like they've yeah known each, yeah, known each other for a long time. And 
so they go way back and she also feels lucky to have him in her life like really blessed really fortunate it could also mean perhaps either they like traveling together or going places or she wants to travel with him more we got the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck she thinks he's like a happy-go-lucky person just someone who is very positive and very lucky just someone who know who's able to get whatever he wants second house we have the second house with which is associated with the zodiac sign taurus so she finds him to be someone who is um i guess i don't know like really like solid okay like really s stable or just someone who has a strong foundation okay so, or someone who strive who always work towards building a strong foundation someone who's good with money handling of money resources what does kim say john pick up on heel so we got the new moon new moon ah uh, so she thinks he is someone who she yeah so she thinks he's someone who who is not afraid to try out new things who steps out of his comfort zone who um yeah who who just knows what he wants like he has really a clear vision i feel He's like a risk taker. Miss Kim say John pick up on heel so we got the hawk. It's all about communication messages. So it seems like communication between them is really solid, really good, like overall positive. Like I feel like in general she enjoys talking to him. Or he, she finds that he's a great communicator. What does Kim Sejong think of on Hyo So? We got the sea turtle. The sea turtle. The sea turtle knows what he wants. Who... It's not someone who's lost all the time. It's like someone who has a clear direction. And... Um, who is... Yeah, just not someone who's scattered brain or anything. Like really focused, really determined. All right, so what's the future of this connection? Okay, we got the Five of Swords in reverse. This is... This is good. I mean, we don't want it to be an upright. <laughs> in the reverse position, it could just mean drama-free. Okay, I don't see conflicts, stressful moments, at least in the Im immediate future. Okay, we get the Nine of Swords or, it, yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is also good too. This is a type of card you don't want to see in the upright position as well. Or it's not a great so great card in the upright position, but um, in the reverse, um, they don't have to worry about, yeah. Like I feel, I feel like just this connection will be like very worry-free or um, drama-free, I feel. We got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so this this tells me that they'll be each other, be there for each other for a while, like really support one another, really look out for each other, really care for each other. 
like to have each other's back. Good cheer. It's like the Three of Cups energy, like they can expect some very pleasant moments ahead. I, I feel like a lot of fun moments. I feel like they'll just spend a lot of time together and just hanging out, par perhaps partying and going places. I feel like they'll really enjoy each other's company. We got success at the bottom of the deck. So I think this is going to be a very solid connection or one that will last a long time. So a very successful partnership or friendship. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe, <laughs> subscribe button. Uh, um, I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.